In this video, I will be sharing with you more on how to apply the off-ball principle in the writing of electronic configuration. Before we learn more about the off-ball principle, let's do a recap about orbitals and subshells. There are three types of orbitals that we focus in the GCE A-level curriculum. They are the S, P and D orbital. Each orbital contains only two electrons. The orbital is found in the subshell, so for the S orbital, it's found in the S subshell, and there's only one S subshell. The P subshell has three P orbitals. The D subshells have five D orbitals. Hence, the S subshell can take up a maximum of two electrons. The P subshell can take up to a maximum of six electrons and the D subshell can take up to a maximum of 10 electrons. The S subshell has the lowest energy level, while the D subshell has the highest energy level in these three subshells that we are talking about. We will be sharing more about the r bound principle. N equals to 1 quantum shell is the lowest in energy, while N equals to 5 quantum shell is the highest in energy in this series that is shown. The S subshell has the lowest energy, while the H subshell has the highest energy in this series shown. Next, we'll be sharing with you how the electrons are filled in the subshells. First, the 1S subshell is being filled, followed by the 2S subshell, followed by the 2P subshell, followed by the S subshell followed by the 3p subshell, followed by the 4s subshell, followed by the 3d subshell, followed by the 4p subshell, followed by the 5s subshell, which is followed by the 4d subshell, followed by the 5p subshell, and every other subshell that is found in this diagonal. When this diagonal is completed, then it is followed by the 4g subshell, which is then followed by the 5D subshell and any other subshell that is found in this diagonal then we will move on to the 5G subshell and then the 5A subshell. The following we'll be talking about an application of the off bond principle using the box and electron diagram. I have chosen nitrogen as my example as it contains 7 electrons. After filling the 1S subshell, nitrogen has 5 electrons left unfilled. Notice that when we write 2 electrons that are found in the same orbital, they are both in opposite directions. This denotes that the electrons are in opposite spin. In addition, a half arrow represents 1 electron. We will next fill the 2S subshell and that will leave nitrogen with 3 electrons left unfilled. We will then subsequently fill the remaining 3 electrons in the 2p subshell to give us our electronic configuration in the box and electron example. The remaining 3 electrons are singly occupied in an orbital each. That is because the half-filled subshell is more stable. My next example would be to show how we can write the electronic configuration using manganese as our example. In this example, I will not be using the box and electron diagram. I'll be just writing out the electronic configuration. Manganese have 25 electrons. After filling the 1S subshell, manganese has 23 electrons left unfilled. After filling the 2S subshell, manganese has 21 electrons left unfilled. After filling the 2P subshell, manganese has 15 electrons left unfilled. After filling the 3S subshell, manganese has 13 electrons left unfilled. After filling the 3P subshell, we have manganese to have left 7 electrons that's left unfilled. Using the off bond principle, we will fill the 4S subshell next, and that will leave manganese with 5 electrons left unfilled. 
these remaining 5 electrons will be filled in the 3D subshell. Now, in the writing of the correct electronic configuration of manganese, you would have to write the 3D5 before the 4S2. That is despite us filling the 4S subshell before the 3D subshell. This is the end of this video.